guys? Welcome back to another Makeup Artist Monday. It's artistry like BAM. All right, guys, thanks for tuning back in this week. If you're new here, my name is Brandon. I'm a professional makeup artist here in Chicago. I'm here to teach you some fun things about makeup. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please subscribe down below. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys all about how I would do my face in five minutes or less. Let's do it. All right, everyone, so I have all my skincare products already on, my SPF, everything for the day. And now I'm gonna go ahead and skip right to makeup. So this is the five minute face that everybody always asks me about when I have five minutes to get ready and I need to get out the door. So I my products already laid out in front of me. We're gonna be using the um, Chanel Perfection Lumiere Foundation. This is what I would do. I would actually take a little bit, pop it on the back of my hand, and then look into a mirror and see if I have any redness on my skin. And I do just right here on my cheeks, just a little bit here, 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 right around my nose. I'm gonna go right under my eye since I'm not gonna do concealer. I'm gonna do one dot in my forehead, one dot on my chin, and then one dot here, and one dot here. All right, so now that we look crazy, let's blend this all out. I'm actually gonna use a blending brush, just a big fat one, so you have five minutes. All you wanna do is get this blended into the skin. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is really nice because it's very sheer. It's gonna give me a little tint, a little coverage, but nothing crazy. And then this is really easy to apply because it already matches my skin tone. I know it's gonna look great all day long. There we go, that's all blended in. Fast, effortless, and easy, and then take what's on the brush, and then that tiny dot on the top, we're gonna blend that right all over the forehead. And just kind of blend that out. So this doesn't have a ton of coverage, so you're not gonna see a lot of coverage in my skin. I don't want a lot of coverage. I just want something really sheer, easy, quick, so I can get out the door and look really polished and put together. That's what we love, right? All right, next we're gonna switch over to the Physician's Formula Matte Bronzer. This is one of my favorite drugstore bronzers. Looks like this, same brush. I'm gonna go right in, and I'm actually gonna tap up the excess. I'm gonna go on the high planes of my face and go from the back to the front in circular motions. This is gonna buff the bronzer right under my cheek and give me a little bit of sculpting. Same thing on the other side, back from the ear. I like to go from my ear because that's kind of where my contour starts naturally. So this will help me bronze the outer portions of my face and give me a little bit of that tan. And so to keep this color going in the skin, I want to go ahead and hit the temples and blend that down in the same brush right where it meets the top of the cheek right at the top of the temple, blending it down, meeting right here at the top of the cheek. And then we're actually gonna go in a little bit more and I'm gonna go down the center of my nose, right on the tip of the cheek, I mean the tip of the nose, <laughs> and then right on the chin. And then everything should be really lightly bronzed and really soft and really golden. I don't want there to be any lines of demarcation. I just want it to be really soft and really blended. So that's our next step. So that's the Physician's Formula Bronzer. Sometimes I wear cheek color, sometimes I don't. For this look, I'm actually gonna wear a little bit of cheek color just so I show you guys how I would do it. Um, I'm gonna use the Nude Sticks Cheek Gelay. This one, I like to just swipe just like this right on the tops of my cheek bone. And then I'm gonna use the Real Techniques um, Highlight Brush and I'm gonna blend it out in circular motions. Circular motions are really key here, guys, because it's gonna blend and keep everything really soft and diffused so that way there's no harsh lines. So you can see that just gives me a little bit of color. Do the same thing on the other side. Blend it out. Really, really soft, really, really easy, effortless. All right, done with the cheek color now. If you can see that, it's just really easy, effortless. I'm gonna go in with a lip conditioner. This is a lip oil, one of my favorites from Ulta Cosmetics. Grab that on. I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara. This is the Armani Eyes to Kill. Just like that. This one's really nice, buildable, a super, super nice drama, high impact, really, really quick, as you can see. We're trying to use products that make a big impact with minimal effort. So this is definitely one of those products where a little bit goes a long way. Bam, bam, we got some lashes. And then I like to do my brows just a little bit. So this is the Revolution Cosmetics Brow Gel, and you can see that this one is well loved, and it's got a very, very, very tiny brush like this. And I actually just like to scoop it 
swoop it, I mean, right through my brow, just like this, to kind of clean up any flyaways, make it look really sculpted and nice and very cohesive. And then do that on the other side. And then I got a little bit too much right there, so I'll just kind of blend it out. All right, blending that out. And we are good to go. All right guys, so this is my five minute face. So I have on my cheek, my lip, my lashes, my brow, and my foundation, and we're good to go. So I don't need a lot of concealer or blush color or eyeshadow. If I was to do one eyeshadow, I would just do one color and kind of blend it all out and keep it moving. So this is my five minute face. Hope that you guys love this look. And until next Makeup Artist Monday, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. All right, goodbye guys.